What's going on everybody, Motown EDC here, back again with another video. This one's gonna be a short one, um, but we're making a Tina Tuesday video. So, look in this slip. You'll probably already know. What do I have in there? Obviously, it's gonna be the Burlap Micardo Case Trapper in the 1095 steel. But let's take a second to look at this. This thing's amazing. Like, this is uh, sent to me by Oliver Custom Knife Works. 12 ounce water buffalo leather. And this thing is beefy. Look at that. That's a whole hamburger right there. But, so far I haven't really seen much teeners on this. I mean, I've got a couple scratch marks on here. I mean, the uh, stamp right there is getting a little bit lighter right there, but it's breaking it in. Breaking in really good and I've got a few wrinkles and whatnot. It doesn't bother me, but beautiful stuff. Go check them out. Oliver Custom Knife Works. But here is my Teener Tuesday entry. Knife that's been gifted to me. It's got the baby teeners on there, but I love the way 1095 patinas. You can see the whole rainbow in there. It looks crazy. And that's what you'll find, like whenever you first start using a knife, it'll get all these rainbow colors, but the more and more you use it and develops more patina, it gets it starts to get pretty dark like y'all saw yesterday on my um tribal lock in the cv but i love how this is patinaing getting the teeners on there especially this side but i really dig this micarta it's smooth and like polished but you can still feel that micarta texture somewhat it's very different from anything i've ever seen um i mean i guess I'm, it could be possible that i haven't really seen much but i really like it i'm not used to micarta feeling like this i'm used to like the just the natural canvas my micarta like rips garage tech uses uh flytanium pretty much most other my cartas and stuff but i'm really liking it especially you can tell i like using this one for some meal prep but as you know no teeners on the spay blade this is my utility knife i mean besides that i don't even know what that is but i didn't do it <coughs> but Either way, I don't know. From the other trappers I've seen and have got my hands on, this spay blade is actually decently pointy. Most of the ones I've seen are pretty rounded off, so I think this one's a this one's a good one. Really nice for doing some utility cuts. I like on the spay blade. I really like how flat, how much flat edge you get right here, and then it's just belly at the tip. I really like that, uh, mainly for those other jobs, but I love this one. I mean, it's still got a good amount of flatness on that edge, but it's got a little bit more belly, so I like using this one for food prep. But like I said, it's gonna be a short one today. So here's my entry to Teener Tuesday. I hope you, hey, I just noticed you can see my sunglasses in the blade right there. That's my head. Hey. But anyway, there's my Teener Tuesday entry. Hope you all enjoyed. Learn how to sharpen your knives. Uh, you learn how to use them safely. And as always, till next time.